Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about locating your wallpapers and lock screen images on your Windows computer. So if you particularly like the images and you just wanted to see where they are saved, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to locate them. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing you want to do if you want to locate the wallpaper images first, we're going to go ahead and just open up the File Explorer icon on our taskbar, or you can search for it in the search menu. And you want to go and select on the left side where it says this PC. Double click on your drive where Windows is installed. It should be indicated by a little Windows icon above the hard drive. Go ahead and double click on it. And now you want to double click on the Windows folder. And now you want to locate the Web folder, W-E-B. So right here, double click on it. At this point, you should see at least three different folders, a 4K, a screen, and a wallpaper folder. On Windows 11, if you're following this on Windows 10, you won't see it, but on Windows 11, it says touch keyboard, so you have four different folders in here. Basically, the wallpaper folder, if you double click on it, you'll see all of the default wallpapers in here in the various subfolders that you can look through. So very nice. And if you double click on the 4K folder, as it implies, you'll see some high resolution photos. So again, pretty cool feature there, guys. And if we go back, double click on the screen folder, you'll see a few different images here as well. And if you go underneath touch keyboard, again, if you have it, you'll see a few different images as well. In the screen folder, it's just going to be, if you double click on it, that'll be the lock screen images in here. Pretty straightforward process, guys, on how to do both of those tasks. And as always, thank you for watching. I do I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.